Hi, I'm Narida Ansari and in this video we're gonna talk about actors in blueprints. So without any further ado, let's begin. You can see we have this simple first person shooter project and for example we want to change the position of this box in our game with blueprints okay i'm not gonna just show you how you can reposition it i'm gonna show you how you can find out by yourself so first thing you can see that we are at the event graph and for open that up you can go to blueprint open level blueprint okay and we are here and you can see in here we have this box in here that in if we go to the property of this box let's just collapse everything in here and you can see it has transform and in here you can change the x position y position and z position okay you can do whatever you want with it and if you go to physics you can enable physics or disable physics you can turn its visibility you can change the mobility of our our actor or our box in here okay we can do a lot in just this property but we want to do it in blueprint i want to show you how you can find out how you can do all of this stuff by yourself not going to documentation not going to any videos and um, I, I will show you some of them and i'm sure that you get the idea how you can do it for other things so you can see if you want to uh, for example create a platform that is moving up and down we can change the z position of this actor or or box in here like this go up go down go up go down and for that we should access this transform this location this is the location of this um box right so let me show you how you can do that because we didn't talk about blueprint classes till now i don't want to talk about blueprint classes we want to just do it in the level blueprint so the level blueprint is just for our level so it's a global event graph that you can do whatever you want so first thing you should get this box in your blueprint right so how we can do that if we select it here and go to whatever class or blueprint class or whatever event graph right click in here you can see that there is two option in here that in one of them is call function on editor cube 11.5 okay so if we go here you can see this this is the our editor cube 11 and we just selecting in our scene and go to our event graph and right click we can get that editor cube 11 that is in our scene just click on it and it will give you a, re a reference to that object for getting and setting the these properties in in blueprint we can just drag and drop it here and search for the stuff for I, for example the location maybe we want to change the location and for doing that we need a set function so for searching for a set function so every variable every things in Unreal Engine 5 has a set and a get right for setting a value for example the location we can say set location just search for set location okay and it give us a lot of set function in here for example this set actor location okay so with this we can change this actor location in our scene let's just add a key because we need to connect this executing pin to something right so i want to say key and for example and i want to say if the key n is pressed change the location of this actor so what what where do we want to put this actor we can set it in this new location okay and if you right click in here and prompt it variable you can have it here and if you compile and select this new location here you can change it here for example let's just put 300 in here save it and compile it okay 
So what should happen? If we go to our game, run our game, you can see the physics is on, is on on it, right? So if we hit N node, it will change its location. So you know that when you want to change whatever in this property in here, you can search it and say set, for example, set location and it, it will find it for you. And you can see I didn't um, memorize these notes in my head to find it again. I just want to know if I want to change the location of something. I can say set location and it will find it for us. Okay. So with that, it has some property in it. And I don't want to explain ev everything to you because I should create a lot of video for that. Okay. You should know how you can drive this car right so i'm gonna show you how you can drive a car not drive the car right so whatever car they give you for riding you can ride it you can drive it right so for knowing what this sweep is just hover over it and it will tell you what it is i want to show you another thing in here let's say we want to change the visibility of this this box in here so how we can do that let's just delete this we don't need this location and again let's just drag and drop this and search for visibility okay and you can see that it find for us a set visibility and toggle visibility okay let's just use toggle visibility okay so what it does is just change this um our object or our reference to our object to a static mesh why because this toggle visibility happened for a, a static mesh component so what unreal engine do for you it will change this reference to its static mesh component and after that it's toggle its visibility okay so let's just do that connect this to here and now if we compile it we can run if we hit n on our keyboard it will be invisible invisible and if we hit n in our keyboard again it will be visible invisible visible so we find visibility like before so let's just again go to our game in here we select this box let's just say we want to change this simulate physics if we want to simulate physics or not or we want to cast shadow or not let me find it in lighting cast shadow in the if we play it you can see that it it's casting shadow on our surface right so we want to change this cast shadow but we can do that so for example let's just go here and say set cast shadow okay and with searching this click click on it and you can see that uh, that this set cast shadow is for a static mesh but we have a reference to this uh, object and unreal engine 5 convert this reference to a static mesh component and in here we can set the cast shadow to whatever we want in this case if, if we connect this to here it when we hit n on our keyword the cast shadow will be off so let's just compile and see it in here and you can see if we go here and in here our object cast shadow okay and if we hit n on our keyboard it doesn't cast shadow anymore okay for example we wanted to cast shadow if we hit r on our keyboard right so let's just copy and paste this we can do it like this right so uh, right click in here and want to say key r and if the key r is pressed in this case cast shadow so in here we check this so it will cast shadow so if we hit n it won't cast shadow but if we hit r it will cast shadow okay so let's just run it hit n it won't cast shadow hit r it will cast shadow right so I want to show you something else. Let's just delete this. We don't need it. For example, we want to do it this way. Right click in here and search for set cast shadow. Okay. And you can see it can't find this set cast shadow that we have it here. 
why it doesn't find it it's a important tip that you should know about so if we just drag and drop from here it will find it but in this case it doesn't find it why because we check this context sensitive what it is if you hover over it it says should the list be filtered to only actions that make sense in the current context okay so it will be filtered for us to make our life easier but uh, if you uncheck this you can find this set cast shadow node and now we can just connect this to here and it will again change it to a static mesh for us okay so always know about this check in here if you don't check this this context sensitive you can't get a reference to your for example editor q11 okay so for getting a reference to your character by just selecting this in here for example this editor q10 and get it from here you should check this context sensitive and know you can have it here and you can do whatever you want what comes to mind Unreal Engine 5 it has it in the next video I'm gonna show you how you can create blueprint classes so for example uh, we wanted uh, some uh, platform that go up and down and we can set it in that video i'm going to show you more professional way of using variables in your game i hope you like this video it's my honor to have you at the end of this video please if you like this video hit that like button it's very important to me it helps me a lot and subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching bye